Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Mortis here and welcome back to Risk of Rain 2. I've had a bit of a resurgence to this game, thanks mostly to Scorf, who introduced me to Artifacts. Artifacts are a way to alter the way that you play the game. And one of my favorite things about Risk of Rain 2 is you, every once in a while, you get that run, that perfect run where you're getting all the items out of the chest that you want. You're building up this beautiful, you know, kit and suddenly things go from just being fun to being absolutely absurd. And there's a way that you can kind of force the absurdity. You just have to be able to survive long enough to get there. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go to single player. We're going to be playing out Monsoon difficulty, the highest difficulty. And we're going to be playing with three artifacts. The first, the Artifact of Command lets you choose your items. The second, Artifact of Sacrifice. Monsters drop items on death, but chests no longer spawn. Which means when I kill a mob, it has a chance to drop an item and I don't have to worry about collecting money so I can spend all the money that I collect on drones and such. And finally, Artifact of Swarms. Monster spawns are doubled, but monster maximum health is halved, which means there will be double the amount of monsters, which means double the op opportunity for drops to occur. Mixed with Artifact of Command letting me choose my items. It's delightful, isn't it? So I guess the question is, who are we going to take out into the world? I have done this on most of these characters, but they have all been with Squirf. It has not been solo. I don't know who the best would be for that. We may just take out the commando. Just a, just a classic sort of commando. Or, multi is always a fun one. Multi is not bad. Let's do multi, actually. Because the loadout that I use for multi right now is absurd in its own right. So if I press R to use my special, it allows me to use my primary and my secondary, well, my miscellaneous as they call it, as a single weapon. So I basically go into full auto mode, mix that with auto nail guns on both ends, and suddenly I am pumping out a massive amount of damage per second. So I start building out into crit, into bleeds, into AOE, into so many different things. Multiply that by the amount of attack speed that I have, and it just gets stupid, and I love it. I also have a couple of options or unlocks that I could potentially do on one of these runs. This one being defeat two beetle queens without leaving the teleporter zone. That would be easy enough if I get a shrine of the monster. And the other one is a little bit more difficult. It is landing a killing blow on an imp overlord with a preon accumulator. Possible? I'll try. Can't guarantee success, but it should be fun nonetheless. So, let's just drop in and see how this goes. Welcome to Distant Roost, and already we are getting attacked. How dare you, sir? So the first things I'm going to need to worry about... Not that yet, but I will get that eventually. I'll have to remember that's there is uh, health regen and armor. That's going to be a primary thing. I'm not going to hit this guy at all from that range. Take care of this guy real quick. Go ahead and give him a bonk. There we go. Now, like I said, it's a chance for them to drop. It's not a guarantee, so it's going to take some time to start accumulating wealth. But once we do, Hello, friend. How are you? There we go. We already got our first item. We can get the Preon Accumulator right up the bat. I don't remember which one it is, so I'm just going to grab that for now so I can do this, so I can kill everything in sight because I'm frightened for my life. Help. Ooh, ha -ha! Already we begin. Already I'm taking damage. This is not great. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Bonk. Nothing else has dropped yet, but uh, we'll work on it. I need to go and get that heal bot. That's what I need. Let's go ahead and go into full auto mode here real quick. Take care of all these squidgy bits. Oh, I just heard a wisp. Where's the wisp? Oh, I just heard... Okay, that's just an item. That's just a lunar coin. It's not what I was hoping for, but... We'll take it. Let's go ahead and get this guy so we can get some heals going. There we go. Deal with all of this while we heal up. We got another orange item. Oh, that's a robot. Let's go ahead and bonk him. There we go. 
Got to deal with this guy. Let's go ahead and go into full auto mode. Give us a little bit better on the uh, accuracy front. There we go. All right, so... Nope, this is not... Oh, God, this is fantastic. This is the ceremonial dagger. Every time I kill somebody, a ceremonial dagger appears and will go out and hunt other things down. So I have now become terribly, terribly unstoppable at early game. As long as I don't go stupid. As long as I don't go stupid, all of these knives are just going to go hunt literally everything. See, look at them go. There they go. They're just going off and killing. <laughs> and every time that they kill something, another knife spawns, so it just keeps accumulating. It's fantastic. And bonk! Alright, so we got a white item. I think the first one we're going to get is a little bit of gasoline, just so we can spread the love. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some more uh, bots and stuff up here. There we go, so we're already setting fire to things. Knives are going out there, just going ham. Alright, so the first thing we're going to get this is that for the extra health. Let's go ahead and get the life regen there. And then we're going to go ahead and just take a casual peek around. See if we can find... There goes the knife! <laughs> And the knives are just going to go out and kill more people for me. There we go. Other item has dropped. And as you can see, it's already getting kind of absurd. So, uh, we're going to get this so that way our first bit of damage does massive amounts. Look at everything just dying! <laughs> it's a thing of beauty. Uh, Alright, so teddy bear for a little extra mitigation. I do want to get some speed eventually. I think my next green item is either going to be a ukulele... Or a... Oh, I heard an item drop. Where is it? Either a ukulele or a... Uh, hoopoo feather, so I can get a double jump going. Uh, let's go ahead and get some movement speed. I'm not too concerned yet about everything else. We'll worry about attack speed later. I want the movement speed so I can... kind of speed around the map and collect all of my goodies now. I could hit this Shrine of Pain, but there's no reason to, because I'm not hurting for money. Let's go through here and just see... Hi, friend. How you doing? And then they're all gonna die. Alright, so we're already looking pretty good here. That, uh... That Ceremonial Dagger was a huge boon for us. Like, it's doing all the heavy lifting now. You mind, sir? I'm trying to have a nice conversation, and you are in the way. <laughs> Everything is dying around me! And of course, thanks to that uh, infusion, I am getting a lot of early game health, too. So this is turning out fantastic. Uh, we probably need to figure out where... the teleporter is before this gets too crazy. See, and the nice thing is that the daggers appear to proc the gasoline, which means that the things that it kills sets fire to the things next to it, and it's just a never-ending cycle of pain. I'm wondering where that one drop was. Is it down here? There it is. Wait for that. All right, so we have a little bit of time since we're not getting attacked. Let's go for attack speed. We need all the attack speed to make our our uh, ultimate even dumber. For now, we're going to go and hunt down the teleporter. We're looking for little wispy boys, little little sparkles, little speckles. Little shiny speckle. It'll tell us where it is. Where is it? Hello friends, how you doing? Oh, thank you for the green item. That's fantastic. That is going to be my feather. We'll wait for that to pop. There we go. Kill that off. Bonk. All right, so we got another white here. So let's go ahead and get... We're also going to build up a little bit of the topaz brooch. That's going to give us some... Added protection on top of our health. 
whenever we kill something, which of course, with the amount of killing that we're doing, it's going to be all the time. Alright, so let's go ahead and kill those wisps. There we go. Oh, even more items. We have our double jump now, so that's good. Ow. Uh, let's go ahead and get some boss damage. Armor piercing rounds. Go ahead and kill these off real quick. Oh, they dropped a lunar coin. Not terrible, not great. Uh, let's go for the ukulele next. That way we can spread the love even more. And I think we're good. I think we can go ahead and start this teleporter. We'll bring that guy up. And let's do it. Go into our R drive mode here. And we're just going to immediately drop that guy. Going to bonk him. Going to go ahead and hit our Q here so that way everything dies. There we go. Everything is dead. And now we just have to wait for the timer to run out. Which means that literally everything around me is going to die because of those knives. So I can just kind of go around and pick things up. So let's go ahead and get... Let's get some bleed stacking going. And what else? What else? What else? Let's get the rusted key. Because with that chest, we have the opportunity to get a red item. Which would be phenomenal. I'm going to leave this for just a second so I can grab... Uh, let's go ahead and grab that so we get some health orbs dropping. We're going to go ahead and drop him real quick. Drop him real quick. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you there? You were there. Now you're not. Something else dropped. What dropped? What else dropped? Yeah, whatever. All right, so we're going to go for... As you can see, I haven't unlocked the rings yet. I need to do that. The rings and the scythe. Uh, we're going to go for the headdress. The headdress is going to give me... Critical strikes to increase attack speed. Because I'm going to start stacking crits soon. Alright, everything just dies. Speaking of crit, we'll go ahead and take some crit glasses. That thing is popped, so we're done there. Let's go ahead and... We're going to also take a Berserker Pauldron. Enters a frenzy when killing enemies. Allows me to move faster and attack faster. A little more attack or movement speed, just so I can zip across the map. I think we got everything, looks like. Let's get out of here. So, 9 minutes and 45 seconds in, and we're already just immolating everything. And it's only going to get better from here. Oh, no. Why, what is this spawn? Alright, so we're going to look for our chesticle. Got a bleed going there. We'll pop you, pop you. We've already got knives up, so these guys will drop quick. There we go. Berserker Pauldron is active. You can tell by the little... Oh, oh. You can tell by the little radiation in my midsection there. Go, my friends! Murder literally everything with your purpley knifeness. That didn't hit you at all. Bleed out. Thank you. Oh, wait. Did you drop? I feel like I heard something drop. Did I hear something? No, maybe not. Oh, you're going to throw bells at me, huh? I refuse. All right, so we already see a turret that we can go for. Let's go ahead and get these things killed. Uh, we got another lunar coin. Uh, let's go for another teddy bear for blocking. Let's get all these guys taken care of. There we go. Take over there, dies. Look at all these little purple dudes. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a turret. We got ourselves another turret. All the turrets. Doing our work for us. Don't even have to care. And we're going to press on. See if we can find that chest. Hello, Robos. How you doing? There are toasticles. Alright. Chest, 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 chest. Chest, chest, chest. Oh, hey, how you doing? I might do a blood sacrifice here. Why not? Nothing to lose, everything to gain. Bing! And there was a potential that the teddy bear could have blocked it. It didn't, but it could have. 
Oh, I heard something drop. A green, yes. All right, so we're gonna go for an ATK, or an ATG rather. So that way my kills start popping off missiles. And then we're gonna start stacking attack speed, I do believe. It sounded like something dropped, did something drop? I may just be hearing things. There's so many things dead that I'd never even touched and it's beautiful. The absurdity is already upon us. Everything dies. God, I love this music too. It's just such good music. Oh, we got a Shrine of the Mountain. Hell yeah. That's going to double the amount of uh, baddies. And because we already have the artifact that doubles the amount of baddies, that means we're going to have four of the baddies. Bonk. Ooh, watch out for those bells. They still hurt. Am I good? I'm good. All right, more gasoline. Fuel to the fire. And as you can see, up oh, something else dropped up there. As you can see, the Berserker's Pauldron will activate if my knives are doing the killing. So I'm just in a almost constant state of speed. Any chest back here? That's the only problem is that the chest can be literally anywhere. If I don't find it soon, I'll just press on. Howdy boys! Goodbye boys! Nice knowing you all. Ooh, radio beacon. That should give us an idea of where some stuff is. And apparently there's no stuff, question mark. Huh. Uh, do, 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 do. Do. Let's go for more crit. More crit. Now, I am not very hip to the different, like, soft caps of everything. So I have no idea if it's a good or idea or not to stack past 10. So I usually stop at 10 items each. Except for attack speed. Apparently attack speed is just infinite. But I, I had assumed that there's diminishing returns on everything, so... A little bit more attack speed. There we are. And I will have a chance to get that Praetor accumulator soon. Red items start, or uh, orange items start dropping really quickly later on. Alright, I think we're basically good. I'm not gonna spend too much more time looking for the, uh... Looking for the chest, so we're gonna grab this. Oh, that's not an item, that's just his skin. Just die instantly. Alright, well, I think we are good and golden. You can just go ahead and press forward and hit that button. Kill whatever shows up and then move on. Oh, hang on. Aha! Another heal bot. Everything dies. Everything dies. Ah. More bleed. Stack them bleeds. Oh, I see another white item. And another orange item. We can get the accumulator. Uh, bu 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 bu. Let's get... Let's get a little flat armor. Never hurts. A little more flat armor. Hello? Everything? Dead? Okay. Good. Thanks. Alright. The prey on accumulator is... Wait. Do I not have it unlocked? Am I missing... I'm missing it. 
I think that's what that is. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pre or is this? No, that's something else. Yeah, I don't have the Preon Accumulator unlocked. That's embarrassing. Not surprising. I've been playing off a of Squirt save, so he's got literally everything. All right, let's go ahead and get silly. Bing. R mode, engage. Beattle Queens! And I have to stay within the zone after I killed the Beattle Queens. Which should be easy enough since, you know, this is my zone. Everything is dead. I got a yellow item, that's cool. <laughs> Nothing shall survive! Everything shall die! Behold my power! Anyways, now that we got that sorted, let's go ahead and get some stuff. Let's get a uh, Will of the Wisp. Why not? Over here, we're going to grab another ukulele so that way we can get some more damage spread out. So let's go ahead and get this yellow over here. Uh, we are going to go for the magma first. This is the Molten Perforator. Chance on hit to fire magma balls because we love damage spread out. Uh, let's go ahead and get another teddy bear. Oh, hello. Got a lot of friends up here. Let's go ahead and get them all dead. Thank you for playing. We have some lovely parting gifts. You don't get any of them. They're all mine. Alright, so now we got purple knives everywhere. Let's go ahead and grab... Uh, we'll grab some more boss damage because we're going to be start getting into the harder difficulties here in a moment. I think everything is good. I think we're all set here. Let's go ahead and move on. I forgot I had my Q. I could have pressed my Q the entire time, but completely forgot. Oh, that reminds me. Greens. I need to get some green stacks on the Q. Remind me. I see you, Greater Wisp, over there. I used to fear you, but not anymore. Hello, friend. Yeah, so we need... What is that thing called? This guy. Fuel cell gives me additional charges on my Q. Which means I'm just going to stack that up and get just a ridiculous amount of missiles that I can just spam. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, a white drop back here. Let's go grab that. Bada-bing. Uh... What do I want to focus on? I guess more attack power. Or, uh, attack speed, rather. Do -do. Gotta find... Is that the chest down there? Uh, no, that's a rock. I got excited for a second. Bada-boom! And so we got little squidgy boys. We'll go ahead and just wipe them off the face of the map. There we are. Oh, hello, Greater Wisp. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right, let's go over here. Go check around here. Nothing. All right, we're going to go down this way. We're going to start seeing what we can find. I hear somebody stompy stompying up there. Have to deal with you in a minute. First, we're going to come up here. Hello. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at that little beetle. Beetle go boom. Something died over there without me even being near it. As you do. Just go. Nope. Go ahead and die. Thank you. Oh. Here we go, so I can give this my equipment, and now it will just automatically fire the missiles whenever they're up. Which means I can get more missiles next time. Gotta get away from them, they're not dying as quickly as I'd like. In fact, to take an opportunity. Make sure that everything around me dies.
Okay. More gasoline, fuel to the fire. We're gonna go for another teddy bear for a little more damage mitigation. Oh, there we go. Got myself another missile. Alright. Uh, we got a green up here. So we're gonna grab another Q. There we go. I also think I, I think I want to get a quail so I can dash forward when I jump. Be a nice thing to have. An item dropped over here. All right, so we're gonna go with more sped. All right, we're gonna go up over onto this side and see if we can find that chest. There's the thing. Let's see if we can do this with a teddy bear block. No, but that's okay. He still got some money. I see the pirate captain up there. Gonna have to deal with him. <laughs> Everybody just kind of sailing up here to die. I appreciate you. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Uh, a little bit more healing. A bit more attack speed. A bit more attack speed. <laughs> Alright. Let's go searching and see if we can... Oh, hi, how you doing? Sorry about that. Didn't mean to run into you there, but... Uh, I did. Uh, more shield. Oh, hello. All right. There's a pirate captain. Got to deal with him. They do actually hurt. There we go. And he dropped an item. Thank you. Let's go ahead and grab another damage. Mitigation item here, a little base armor. If he dies, let's go ahead and grab more crit. There we go. Do a little pain. We teddy bear it. We're gonna do it again. We did not teddy bear it. Heal me, bots. Touch me. Yes, thank you. Another green item here. We're gonna grab another AT or AG rather. Go ahead and waste to these guys real quick. All right, good to go. I thought I grabbed another feather. Did I not? I could have sworn that I did. Huh. That's all right. Not a big deal. Uh, more crit. We are not seeing... We're not seeing any of the... chest, though. Or boss damage. Because it's literally right here. Boy, am I a dummy. Alright, quail me. So that way, when I'm sprinting, I hop forward. Beautiful. All right, I think we're good here. We Well, technically, we can go up. Make sure they don't drop anything. Good to go. Uh, let's go down and up that ramp there real quick. Just to make sure we're not missing anything cool. Oh, hi. How you doing? Beautiful. Uh, yep. Alright, so we got another shrine o pain over here. Really, it just equates into more, uh... <laughs> uh, let's get another feather so that way I'm actually doing the hops. There we go. Uh, but the money equates to level experience, so I might as well get all that I can, right? Or bleed. 
All right, so there is just a health shrine up there. Or a healing pulse shrine, I guess you would call it. Hi, friend, how you doing? That was rude. <laughs> Didn't drop anything? All right, cool. Moving on. Let's go over to the thing and start the thing. I'm sad that there was no Shrine of the Mountain, but... C'est la vie. <laughs> I see you back there. Long distance, no? Let's go and deal with him real quick, because otherwise he's just going to be coming back later. There we are. Alright. Oh, I see a green. I see a green. Uh, actually, I need one of these. At least, I need to actually multiple of those, because elites are going to start spawning a lot more later. So the guillotine kills any elite that is under a certain threshold. I think it's 20% to start or something like that. So the more you get, it does stack up. So eventually, elites just start falling over dead very quickly. But for now, it is time! We are multi-spinning, we are multi-killing, I am killing the Grove Tenders! And they're dead. <laughs> All of these pirate captains, but I care not because I have the shielding for days. What am I stuck on? Just everything go ahead and fall over dead. I appreciate you. All right, let's get, uh... Let's start stacking this because elites will become more common. Anybody else want some? Anybody else want some? Who wants some? Come get some. I can't even see who's dying. You're dying before I can even turn my head. Uh, more gasoline. Fun, fun. I've got an itch in my eye, so everything else around me should hopefully just die while I'm doing the itching. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, there we go. I can see it's a miracle. I'm dead and dead and dead and dead and dead and dead. <laughs> uh, we are now into I see you. But we're out of here. All right, let's do this thing. Some, did you already just drop something? Amazing. All right, so we got money there. We can do that. I'm gonna hit another teddy bear real quick. All right, we need to get some blades up in the air. There we go. Now we get to bring one of these up. We did not teddy bear it, so we're playing a risky game here, but uh, I think we'll be okay. There we are. Oh, I forgot about that dude. It's alright, we should be okay. We're gonna fire all the missiles! Because I don't want to mess with that freaking Lemarian. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, we're good. I got a little dicier than I wanted. I probably should not have gone for that second one. But you know what? We survived, and that's all that matters. I am not going to hit that shrine again. Hell to the no. Let's just go ahead and move on. Now, this thing is probably going to kill the eggs. Which spawns the mini-boss. Which will be hilarious. But as you can see, we're already getting a lot of elites.
All right, should have a breather. Let's go ahead and get some more attack speed. And then we'll move on from here. Probably want to think about getting another key, so that way I can get another rusted chest. Since they have the possibility of giving me a red item. Which, red items, as you can see, just from that ritual dagger, dagger alone, completely changes the way that this game works. I got so lucky getting that in the early game. I really did. This run would have been decidedly more difficult if not for that thing. A lot of stuff dropped. Uh, let's go ahead and keep those guillotines coming. More crits. We can die there. I do want to get some more ukuleles and will-o'-wisps. Uh, let's stack some more bleed. Right, we got some more greens and yellows or whites down here. But God, just everything is dropping everything. I love it. Help. All right, so... More Teddy. Uh, Will-O-Wisp. More Teddy. How many do we have? Seven Teddy Bears? We'll probably stop at ten on that one. Uh, Ukulele. Let's go for some more movement speed. It is getting a little spicy now, though. As you can see, I am starting to lose health. I'm going to have to start being a little more cautious when I'm doing things. Alright. Let's head down. Do we tend to bear it? We do. More money. Alright, so we got our teleporter here. I hear something marching somewhere. Ah, it's a Lemurian. Cool, cool. All right, something just dropped. Hang on. All right, so let's start stacking a little bit of health on top of everything else. See what we got down here. Whole lot of nothing. Oh, we do have that. I think that's the emergency heal drone. That should get me out of danger. If I get a little too overzealous, but... I think it also has to be within range of me, which may be a problem. We'll find out. Greater Wisp. Again, used to be a lot more frightening than they are now. Uh, health. Health. Gotta slap them stakes all over me. Shrine of the Mountain, hell yeah. Shrine of the Mountain does give me additional bosses to fight, but it also gives me additional bonuses if I win. And I would have a hard time believing that I wouldn't win. <laughs> but, you never know. We're gonna be real short here. We're gonna be on a small, small sort of decline. Oh, okay, so I spawned the mini-boss. I gotta go deal with him first, that's good. I may get a red item out of this, which is fantastic. There's gonna be two of them. It's one down, that's two down. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and grab us another ook. There we go, we got another red item. We're gonna go for... Uh, let's go for this guy. Mushroom-looking thing, which is the Unstable Tessa Coil. It shocks all nearby enemies every 10 seconds. It's a good way to mitigate some, you know, nearby damage. 
Let's go ahead and grab... A little sprint juice for funsies. We're gonna be the fastest robot ever! Alright, let's pop that shrine, or pop that teleporter, rather, and see what happens. We're real tight on this one, so it's gonna be interesting. Let's see what happens here. Okay, Wandering Vagrants. Not the best, but they should melt pretty fast. Where are the other ones? Is that it? Okay, that was it. Well then, I, uh, yeah. I was a bit more nervous than I guess I needed to be. More ukulele! Share the love, share the pain, share the death. Actually, I'm gonna grab a Hunter's Mark thing here. The Death Mark. Enemies with four or more debuffs are marked for death, taking bonus damage. So if they don't die fast, they're gonna die... fast... again. <laughs> uh, what am I missing? What am I needing? Uh, probably more crit? Not that I really need to do much anymore, but... Uh... Or Uke. We're at 7 Uke, we'll stop at 10. Let's go ahead and get another Teddy Bear. We can actually max out on Teddy Bears right now. Let's go ahead and do that. That's 9. That is 10 Teddy Bears. That's all we're gonna get. Let's start stacking some more Bleed for the procs. It's just, it's, a, it's absurd. It is the dumbest thing and I love it. I love everything about it. God, what else do I need? Right, another key. There we go. Alright, moving swiftly onward. I'm sad that we have not yet gotten a Shrine of Gold. Hopefully on this next map we will get a Shrine of Gold. Which is Sky Meadow. Never mind, this is the last map before the boss if I decide not to... Uh, if I decide not to rotate back through, which I'm probably not going to, we're already to the point of absurdity. And if I did a second cycle, it would just get more absurd, but also... Would probably be like a two hour video, so... We'll probably go and defeat the boss after this. We should be able to do a fair bit of farming here and get all the extra stuff that we need. I heard something drop over here. What did it drop? Oh, Shrine of Combat. Let's do it. What do we got? Magma Worms! Oh, and some Grandfathers. Everything is dying and some Elite Lemurians. Everything must die. Pop off my cue. Okay, that worked out well. More hell stack. Yeah, we'll just let the things deal with that. Go ahead and let those all die off. We're gonna grab another uke. How many ukes is that? Eight ukes. We'll stop at ten. Uh, let's get some more shield, some more shield. How many topaz are we at? We're at five. I'd like to see more. I'd like to see more. All right, kill the bells. Got another white item over here. We got a couple of white items over here. Six. Seven. All right. Everything falls over dead.
Now, it will be interesting because usually I go through more than one cycle, which means that by the time I get to the boss, I am quite absurd. This go around, I'm not going to quite be absurd yet. Like, I'll be... I'll be silly. I'll be very silly, but... I don't think I'll be quite to the point where I could just cakewalk it. I may still have to work for a living. But we'll see. You never know. Things are dying pretty, pretty fast. Like at this point, I'm basically keeping the, uh... Berserker Pauldron going almost the entire time, so... I need to see another Shrine of Combat up there. I need it. I need it in my life. Take me up there. Bring me to it. This... this chill music. It's almost off-putting. It makes me feel like everything's gonna be okay. That's a lot of Lemarians. That's a lot of Lemarians in tight spaces. Wow. Oh, so many items dropped off the face of the world. Oh, that is disappointing. They all, yeah, they all went. Son of a biscuit. Stupid mushrooms. Be gone with you. Nobody got time for ya. Bow down, bow down, bow to bow, bow, bow. Alright, let's just go ahead and press forward to the end game, shall we? What do we got? Grandparent! Oh, hello, how you doing, buddy? Well, they were here. Ah, oh, Lemurians! Lemurians fire bad! I did not actually go around to see if my chest is here. I probably should do that. But I don't know if it actually spawns on this map. I think I can stop that now. So that should be number 10. Yep, so we got 10 of the... Uh, the brooches, so that's good. Let's get another ATG. I think we're good with the missiles. <laughs> Didn't even stand a chance. Uh... More ATG... More ATG, just all the missiles. I need to make sure that everything dies within seconds. Or else I just won't be satisfied. Any items down there? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Got a green down here. Oh, we got a couple of greens down here. Um, I'm gonna grab another pauldron and another headdress just for the stack. Hopefully that'll help me just a little bit. We got another white item over here. I don't know what I really need anymore. Let's get some more boss. Since we only have five of those right now, we don't need another Q item. Head back up. Uh, I think the other extra feather may come in handy for his, like, slam attack stuff. And... 
Let's just grab a rose buckler. All right, I think we are good. It is time to move on to the final level. Now, normally my speed would be just phenomenal here, but unfortunately, it is not meant to be. I can still get items here, though, so that's good. But you can see basically how this goes. If you get a good early game on this uh, on this game mode, it just snowballs out of control. It is glorious. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, how am I not hitting him? Alright, so that was an elite. That's why he took so much time to die. Also, we didn't have any of our bonus stuff up in the air yet, but now we do! And we're dropping more items. I gotta wait for that terrible fire to go away first. Uh, what do I want to focus on? I think I need to focus on a little bit more health and armor. Just kind of double stack on that. Ah! I hate the fact I can't go over small lips. Howdy boys! Let's, let's talk. <laughs> it sounded like something dropped. Didn't I hear something drop? Maybe I didn't. I thought I did. That dropped. Alright, so a little bit more health. Got a fair bit. So it's going to be interesting because the final deal with this real quick. The final, um... The final mode of the end boss takes away all of your items and you basically have to shoot him to get the items back. Which... You know, I don't add, I don't attack particularly fast when I have no items, so... I'm hoping my R drive will, uh get me going there. But first, we even have to... Oh! 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 <laughs> first, we have to get there. Oh, this is a problem. I have made a terrible mistake! Well, we're gonna have to heal this through. Okay, we're good. The shield took care of me. Alright, I guess we'll start over here then. Oh, hi, how you doing? Alright, gonna drop me an item, thank you. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more crit. Uh, we actually don't have anything over here that I could touch. That's unfortunate. So, uh... Yeah. Came over here for nothing. Alright. So let's go ahead and go over to the other side. So we got three beams over there. We got at least one over there. So we're going to start over there. That's a green item. I want that. Just gotta wait. There we go. Uh, we're gonna grab another... Oops, I didn't mean that. I meant to, for that to be a fuel cell. Ah, well. We'll get more stuff. It'll be fine. There we go. It's constantly dropping me items. I'll never make it. I'll never make it to the boss with all these beautiful items dropping in my face hole.
Look at that, more greens, more whites, more everything. I'm sad that I didn't get any more reds. Oh god, that's so much fire. But you know what? It'd be what it'd be. Thank you, teddy bears. Alright, so I wanted you, fuel cell. Fuel cell, let's get four charges going. Let's grab ourselves... More crit. Let's grab ourselves more sprint. Alright, at some point we really need to just walk away from all these items and go. At some point, even- well, we're at- ah ha 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 So, it's never gonna change. But... We can come back to those items, it's fine. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, so which is this one? Is this the one that takes health or pushes me away, or...? I'm not yet absurd. This saddens me. It could have been so much more. If only I had more time. How much more we got? 60, 70. It's ever shrinking. Beautiful. Yeah. More meat. More greens. Oh god. I'll never get to the end. More yuke. How many yukes do I have? I have nine yukes. I should be focusing on more primary damage at this point. Let's go ahead and get this started. Where am I at with- I got 10 crit glasses. I think we're at dimish, diminishing returns on that, so we'll go ahead and leave that. I do wish I had the scythe because that would heal me on crits, but unfortunately I don't have that unlocked. So that's something I'm going to have to work on later. The third light beam must be up top. Beautiful. What's next? What's coming next? You! <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Yeah, I love this game mode more than the base game. I'm gonna be honest. And it's only because I know what I'm gonna get into. I'm not leaving things to chance, you know? Now, obviously, yes, this is borderline cheat mode at this point. Like, I'm basically... I'm hitting the Konami code on this stuff, but I'm okay with that because I'm having fun. I don't know why I got another teddy bear, but I did. Um, 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 war boss. What are we at with that word? Six. Let's try to get to ten if we can. I don't know if we'll get, have enough time or enough drops. Oh, that's another red. Hell yeah. Uh, we want this guy. Just obliterating. No, don't. How dare you drop on my red? Now I have to sit here and wait. Unconscionable. What other reds can I get? What can I... What What else is... I don't even know what half of these do, I'll be honest. I could get the 52-leaf clover. That's a nice thing. Or I could get... Yeah, there's so many potentials. Let's do the 52-leaf clover. Oh, no, that's a rejuvenation rack. Double the strength of healing. Okay. I picked the wrong one, but I am okay with that choice. Doubling the effects of healing sounds fantastic. Oh, I could get a blue item. Uh, which one is it? Oh god, now I can't remember which one it is. It's one of these. I think it's the one that I don't have unlocked. Oh, that's terrible if it's true. 
Or is it this one? I don't remember. Shaped glass, that's not it. Crud. Oh well. There's one that basically, and I can't remember the name of it now, that basically constantly fires, it's, it, it's like the equipment drone. It fires your cue whenever it's available. So you don't have to remember to do it anymore. Because as you can see, I'm terrible about remembering. Doo -doo -doo. We just take a second to appreciate how beautiful I look. I wish there was a free look mode. I think there is. I don't remember the button for it, though. Is it Z? Is it middle mouse? No, that's ping. Oh, well. More crit. I beg your pardon down there. I am picking up more crit. I didn't need to pick up more crit, but I did anyways. And now I'm going to come down there and ruin your day. Because you were slightly rude to me. I think. Uh, everything is just up there dying. I love it. Let's go ahead and get... I panicked and got another ukulele when I don't need it. Well, that does get me to 10, so I guess that's not terrible. Uh, boss. There we go. We're here. We're going to go with... I think I get it. I think I can get more health off of this. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. I don't know if they stack or not. I guess I should have tried that out earlier. Uh, yes. Yes, they do stack. Okay. I could have had more health. Oh, well. Let's go up there, hit that final light beam, and finish this game. Oh, it does have a gr There's a chest there! Heck yeah! I'm ready. <laughs> you just need to die. Thank you. Hear that chest. Oh, it's not a red. Sad days. Sad days. That's just a white over there. We're not going to worry about that just yet. We could do trade-ins. But it's going to take random things. So I'm just going to leave it at this and go bop. And murder everything. Oh, this is the one that pushes me out. Stop shoving me! I'm trying to fill you with love! Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Aha! Push me now. Alright. We are donezo. Let's go to the final boss. Which... There it is. One of them, anyway. Where's the nearest one? Where's the safest one? That's a better question. <laughs> Which one can I get to safely? Is that an orange or a red? I think it's an orange, but I want to double check. That's an orange, okay. That's a green. We almost lost a green. I, also, I would also like to call attention to the amount of money that I currently have. You know, in case you are wondering... Just how much... Just how much more idiotic this whole thing can get. In the best possible way. Alright, tens. We're at ten there. Let's go ahead, grab one more meat, and be on our way. Let's go and meet the boss. Unless that was a red, I'm not going back. It's a green, I'm not going back. Alright, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. 
Time to meet the maker. And as soon as he spawns, we are just going to queue the hell out of him. Oh, yeah. Q, 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 Q. And this is why I needed the multiple, uh, the multiple, uh, what am I thinking of? Feathers. So I could keep out of all this crap. Got a little close there. Alright, first phase is done. Second phase begins. This one should go rather quickly because everything should just straight up die. I got lucky on my landing there. Oh, he's doing the thing. Oh, this could this could end poorly. Ow. Ow. All right, and now comes the time where he starts stealing all of my stuff. So I got to hit him fast. I gotta hit him fast, I gotta hit him fast so I get my stuff back. There we go, we're starting to get stuff back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bring it all, bring it all, bring it all. Yes! Yes! Give me everything back! Woo-hoo-hoo! Die. Moon detonation imminent! Oh no! Let's get into this portal and get out of here! Where am I? There I am. I gotta get back to the thing. I gotta get back to this shuttle. These things are terrible. These things can nuke me in one hit. I just gotta go. Just go right over top of this guy. Yeah, they they do a thing where they like explode after they die, and if you get caught in that, it's like an insta gib. Not dealing with that. Gotta go. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. Ah! All right, here we go. It is time. Let us begin. Everything around me dies. Nothing lives. And we're out of here!
There you have it. That is just so much fun. And so it left, ready to recharge the moon, by the way. <sighs> so yeah, every once in a while, Squirf and I will just boot up Risk of Rain 2, put on those artifacts, and just go ham. I have not done it with... No, I, I've done it with one good melee, which is Space Barney. I think he's called Rex in this. I, I can't remember. There, I still have two or three more that I need to complete it. Uh, two of which are melee. And the melee is fun. I will admit, the melee is a lot of fun. But if you don't get a good early start, it's tough. But at the same time, you know, the whole thing is just ridiculous. So... That should have counted towards the unlock, and I'm curious to find out if that is the case. Let's check this out real quick. Time alive, 66 minutes, 31 seconds. Kills, 1,779. Minion kills, 69. Nice. Damage dealt, over 3.3 million. Minion damage dealt, 102,000. Uh, damage taken 11,174, highest level 25, gold collected 213,265. Usually when you start doing the loops, then you start getting into the millions. And it's funny. Items collected 265. <laughs> I have unlocked multi pest control as I thought I would. I also have an environmental log in the logbook. Here is the last of my loadouts. Oh, that was delightful. And that gives me the Scrap Launcher. Fire a rocket that explodes for 360% damage. Hold up to four. I wonder how that would work with power mode. But that's a story for another time. With that in mind, I thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you on the next exciting adventure. Adios.